Good morning. Well, today is Thursday, and uh, <laughs> right off the bat, I got a phone call that uh, one of the frost free hydrants is frozen and the hose is frozen. Got down to 26 degrees last night, so I hope nothing broke. I, uh, I had to use the water truck in that barn before we put the bleachers in. Well, I hope it's okay. I drained it and everything, but I always wonder in the winter time when I uh, put everything away for the year, I put a little bit of antifreeze in the yeah, in the valves and things. But uh, I didn't do that yesterday or a couple of days ago. I just drained it out. So, ah, man. I hope it's all right. <laughs> Stuff thing's expensive. I don't want to have to fix that. And we got a bunch of frost on the window. There we go. Anyway, go down and see what the damages are. It's kind of funny this morning. Uh, it was still too dark to see anything. The sun's awful bright. And Cindy goes sitting up, bolt upright in bed, goes, What the heck is that? I thought, what? What? Where? I didn't see it. Something. She goes, something just went by her house. She goes, whatever it was, it was big. It didn't look like a deer or anything. And Oh, I got up and looked through the other window. I still didn't see anything. And uh, a little bit later, here it comes again the other direction. <laughs> it's uh, some fella jogging. They're probably here for the mule sale or horse sale. And uh, we don't usually get joggers running past the house. but <laughs> It's a Sasquatch. Something's out there. Get the shotgun, Ma. <laughs> Well, this morning they're supposed to have that mule training clinic, and uh, last night before I called it quits, I worked up this arena. But it's been we had a big rain, and there were some really big mud puddles. Let's see what this looks like. We had some really big mud puddles and things. I kind of pulled the, the mud out into the middle. Yeah, it's not drying very fast. Not in puddles anymore, but I think I need to work this up. I think I got about an hour before they're ready to use it. I'm not positive on that though. Shoot, somebody looks like they're selling ro loading ramps, too. It's amazing the things people show up with down here. On this plow, the mud in that wheel is frozen. It won't spin. The other one the same way. Oh, this one might be a problem. I bet that won't turn either. It's trouble with this early season stuff. Yeah, that's going to be a problem there. 
if this doesn't turn it'll just drag the sand sure what all I've got in here to sell this year. I should have spent less time chasing wolves after I quit finding tracks and more time making some leather stuff to sell, but chasing wolves is more fun. Okay, how did I do that? That's a jumbled up mess. Okay, what all do I have in here? What a mess. <laughs> okay, so... Pack saddle under there. This is a rocking horse. Several boxes down there. I was halfway thinking of not taking this big box this year and just bring the stuff out of it, but there might be more in there than I remember. Yeah, Hillbilly will recognize this. That's that Backwoodsman magazine uh, logo. Those old magazines he sent me here not very long ago. The box here is kind of falling apart. Got gaps kind of showing up where the screws are coming out. It's full of sand. That arena in there, even damped down like we do. Uh, yeah, it's messy. You put these boxes and things back in there, and they've always got some dirt on the bottom. So I guess I'll go get a screw gun and try to fix this and a broom. We ended up with this little rocking horse too. Just thought he was kind of cute. He needs some work though. The got a like a plow horse collar on it, and uh, that come off. That needs glued back on, and the the wood is split right there. I'll have to fix that tonight. I wanted to either repaint it with some Varathane. Oh, and he's missing an eyeball. That big teddy bear out there has got one, though, I can put on there. But uh, I wanted to fix him up a little bit before the sale, but with that barn, I didn't have the time. I don't know if I ought to paint him up with uh, some more Varathane or... Use actual paint. His hooves would look good painted black, and I was thinking make him into a paint horse or something. Couldn't give him some spots. <laughs> but I don't know. Somebody did a good job making that one. I love this idea. I've seen that before, and uh, it works out really well. I think I need to look for one of those. The uh, make a good storage shed for my leather stuff and heck you could even use it as a kind of like a teardrop camper first time I saw it I told Cindy I said we ought to buy one of those and make up a bunch of caramel apples call them road apples <laughs> sell road apples out of an old horse trailer like that that shoot with this job we never have time for anything like that but there's other places and things we might be able to go and sell some stuff now and then I used to do a lot of gun shows and a lot of <clears throat> craft shows and things with my leather work until we got this job and shoot this takes up pretty much the entire summer there's no no real extra time 